I say it, stretch it out, lads. And don't push it too hard, son. Yeah, yeah. Williams, word. Yes, boss? Been doing shuttle runs between the buffet car and the beach this summer, have we? <laughs> Good one, boss. No, don't worry about it. A few double sessions will sort you out. But you love second helpings anyway, don't you? Good, you should be a comedian, boss. Anyway, you'll need the work. You're going to master your new role. Gaffer wants to freshen up the system for the Champions League games. Two men out wide, one up the middle. Give the opposition an aerial threat to worry about. We need something different for the Champions League. Give us a chance to take teams by surprise. I mean, being a target man's not really my game, boss. Take it from me, son. Learning how to play as a target man's your best bet for getting games in Europe this season. Manager thinks you've got all the tools, but you need to work on your heading. Target man, um, I played a bit there when I was a kid. If that's what the gaffer wants. That's what the gaffer wants. Okay. Give yourself a chance of playing Champions League football this season, instead of watching it from the stands. We need to improve our build-up play, and that means better ball movement. We'll be working on our distribution.
That was some art. We're gonna work on our tackling. Let's get stuck in today, ladies. I never get tired of... Hunter, Morgan! <sighs> On a break, too? <laughs> Manager likes what she's been seeing from the both of you. You brought a new dimension to the team. But now we're moving into the knockout rounds, and it takes a certain kind of maturity to play under that kind of pressure. Got you, coach. Of course, coach. I'll be ready if manager needs me during the game. 
No, that's the attitude we need and expect from both of you. As the two of you are leading the attack into the round of 16. Thanks, Coach. Yes, Coach. Understood. Good. We're gonna kill him. Yep. All day. Keep up the pace, ladies! Hi there once again everyone, I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith alongside me and we are into the knockout phase of this Women's World Cup here in France. We're in the Stade Velodrome and the USA, probably the favourites now, take on the host France. Yeah, it's going to be an intriguing occasion this, up against the uh, host nation, just to see how they can cope the Americans, as you say, favourites in their uh, quest to claim a fourth title. They've got a good side here, I'm looking forward to it Martin. And we pause now for the national anthems. United States have kicked off. This is the team announced by the United States today. So, Alan, 4 4 2. Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the. Can put them in front here. Shot blocked here. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Well, you've picked a couple of players for us to have a look out today. Tell us their thinking. Well, they've both been on good form. They really have. To put them in front. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. Oh, what a tackle to break up the play. Here's Le Sommer. Now Tine. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Hunter, space for the shot, it's a fast start here, they deserve that goal, they've been the better team early on, and that has just lasered into the corner, unstoppable. And here is another angle on that goal. That has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. Here's Boussalia. Here's Le Sommer. Now Tine. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. But this could be the leveller. All credit for shooting, but it wasn't a very good shot. Room now out on the wing. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Hunter. And Morgan. Hunter. And now the 
a shot. It's Kim Hunter. Well, this goal is all about the strike partnership between her and Alex Morgan, working really well. Well, there was a bit to aim at, but a long way out. Like a golfer from off the green, she's holding it. Well, from that distance, she saw the gap and she's just placed it really beautifully. Restarting at 2-0. Busalia. Maybe just missed, kicked it a little bit there and pass goes straight to the opposition. One point, Alan, we ought to discuss really on the strike force of the Americans, the experienced Alex Morgan joined by the rookie, Kim Hunter. I guess if you're good enough. And here's the shot. Oh, that's a fantastic goal. Just outside the penalty area, she's fired it home. Oh, that's a wonderful goal. Really is. Perfect timing. Another angle on it here. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Tine Le Sommer. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Heath. Into the attacking third. It's a quick break. And it's in for the goal. And there it is, her third goal. She is a hat-trick heroine today, really on top of her game. Well, she is a terrific goal-getter, and that's three to her name today. Yeah, she should be treasuring this moment, this afternoon. She'll be taking that match ball home with her now. I don't think we expected this, such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Now Tine. Here's Le Sommer. Here's a chance to attack. Good interception. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Lindsay Horan. Left the defender, slipping it through. Great ball. Just the played in the clear. Fantastic save. Flag has gone up for offside tight. <laughs> Giving the ball away now. Hunter well, has a go here. Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. There'll be a signal here at the corner. That's a fine shot, an even better save. Yeah, because it was sweetly struck, and you do have to pay attention to those. Goalkeeper rising to the occasion, literally. Yeah, because it was sweetly struck, and you do have to pay attention to those. And in it goes. Carly Lloyd. The shot's on. Now it's a corner. Corner swung in. Here's a chance, goalkeeper exposed.
It's with Heath. Into the box it goes, along the ground. Very sharp reaction save from close in. Well, that's half-time, and who would have expected this? Second half underway here in the round of 16 in France in the Women's World Cup. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. And here's the shot. Up for grabs here. The throw for the USA. Horan. Whipped in from the wide area. And it's a goal for United States. And a special goal. Well, coming in from the right, that was so invited. Wonderful delivery. Great ball, great goal. Another angle on it here. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Substitution about to happen. Hunter. It's a quick break. It must be. What a good way to score. Bottom corner usually works. Keeper couldn't reach it. Oh, it's a great finish to take the keeper at the equation. I mean, the keeper had no chance there. Bottom corner. That's a great breakaway. The counter-attack timed to perfection, executed to perfection. Yeah, you see this more and more in the modern-day game. It's all about pace, and the scorer certainly showed it there. And we're going to get substitutions from both managers. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. One of the sides is going to make a change. Hunter. Lloyd. Hunter. It's a poor ball and over hit. Chance for the cross. Must score. The shot gets blocked. To Henri. Hunter. Morgan. O'Hara. Rushing it here, moving from one side to the other. Corner to be taken. <laughs> Trying to catch the opposition. Shot on! And that goalkeeper can just saunter out and pick that up. Hunter. Straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Now, this is an interesting attack. Here's a chance. And this is a goal. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few. 
from these kind of distances, and it is enough. Well, you get a lot of satisfaction as a goal scoring forward for knocking one in from that distance. You know you're in the right place. No, it was a poacher's effort. The final finish wasn't difficult, but to get there that took a little bit of instinct. I have to say, it's so one sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. To Henri. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. Part of the game, the use of the substitutes, very important part of the tactics too. We've got to change. Hunter. Hunter! Had a go! Goalkeeper's done well. Striding forward, purposefully. And shoots! But come off the goalkeeper, still in play. It has been a case of the die being cast pretty early in this football match. And we've known who's going to win for a long time now. It has been very one-sided. Good clearance. Morgan, 85 minutes played, five to go. Good vision here. And that ball belongs to the goalkeeper. Hunter. And here's the shot. They've scored. Well, I didn't see it as being as one-sided as it's turned out, Martin. But uh, yet another goal and a good one too here in stoppage time. Well, there was a bit to aim at, but a long way out. Like a golfer from off the green, she's holding it. Yeah, so many would put the foot through it, but she had the composure to look up and just side foot it home. There's no doubt that the scoreline reflects realistically the nature of the game there's nothing false about it they've thoroughly deserved to be so far ahead now Cascarino Renard well the hosts are out France go out and the USA have put them out in a genuine away game for the Americans. There was a real know-how, I think, about the Americans, the way they went about their business, that experience of winning on the big stage, and it was too much for France on the day. Well, the support for the tournament here in France has been incredible, but their dreams, the French dreams of lifting the trophy have gone. Don't forget, we'll have all the coverage of the quarter-final featuring the USA live here on EA TV. With Harold on the form of his life and an England call up on the cards, his career was ended by a wild tackle during the FA Cup fifth round tie. It would be his last game as a professional player. Yeah. You made it. <laughs> Little sis making headlines at the World Cup. I can miss that. <laughs> Knockouts now, huh? Yeah. You are going to need all the help you can get. Hello, Kim. Hi. Bee's in town, too. Is that your documentary? Yeah, I got an A. <laughs> you can watch it if you want. Am I in it? Are you a hunter?
I'm not what you think I am, Kim. Uh, I don't think you're anything. I mean, I, I don't think you're anything bad. I didn't I am a I soccer didn't... fan, first and foremost. But I am a fan with means and resources that few others possess. Totally. Yeah, I, I hear that. You made quite the impression here, young lady. The press are saying that you could be the World Cup's next breakout star. You know, I don't really care what the press says. I'm just here to win. That's why you're special. Kim, with your ability, your fire, you could blaze a trail through this game unlike anything we've seen. Change the way this sport is perceived. People keep telling me stuff like that, but I don't really know what to do with it. Don't do anything. Just keep being yourself. Kim, I can help you go straight to the top. Mark my words. Help your team win the World Cup, and they'll be making movies about you. Hi everybody, welcome to you all to the home of Manchester United, Old Trafford, the Theatre of Dreams. Alan Smith had plenty of dreams in his football career and a lot of reality as well. Alan alongside me, Martin Tyler. Manchester United line up today. Today's game, Number Manchester one, United against David Crystal Palace. Mayer. Number 18, Ashley Young. Well, there are players Number here 12. who stand out a bit these two in particular i think today alan well, i love watching these two strikers and i certainly did last time out when they both got hat tricks incredible really and i fancy them to get some more today paul pogba number 21 and herrera number 11 anthony martial and number 34 danny williams This is then the Manchester United lineup. Responsibility for some of those five in midfield to get forward and uh, I'm sure the, the main striker won't be isolated, although it looks a bit like that on our screens. Yeah, he could be a lonely man up top there if he doesn't get the support that uh, he needs because he is the type of player that does need support. He can't do it all on his Thank own. You, old chap. Here's Enjoy the Crystal Palace you. team. Two banks of four. 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, how it always used to be. 
don't see it quite so often these days, but uh, that's a classic formation and uh, really capable of causing problems here today. Game started by Manchester United. Nemanja Matic. It's with Herrera. Now the shot! He scored! Fantastic start! Really quick off the blocks here. And they've given themselves a terrific boost for what lies ahead. He is one to keep an eye on Danny Williams, and we've certainly kept an eye on this goal. Yeah, I love it, you know. Left foot, right foot. He can head the ball too, score all sorts of goals. Marvellous for Manchester United, they are in front. Goal for Manchester United. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Now Lingard. The assistant has raised the flag for offside. There's some hot news for you from St James's Park from Alan McInally. It's a goal for Newcastle United. It's been scored by Salomon de Rondon. He was in on the keeper. Danny Williams! Truly outstanding save. No wonder he's getting a standing ovation for that. Matic! And there it is for Manchester United. They certainly didn't rest on their laurels, did they? And sit back after the first goal, straight away upfield, and there's another one. Well, they're the much better team, and surely they're going to go in and win this match now. Restarting at 2-0. Manchester United. Well, we had to cut short Alan McAnally. That takes a bit of doing, I can tell you. But it was a Newcastle United goal he was trying to tell us about. And that's the first goal of the game. It's 1 0. Goal news from Bournemouth. It's a goal for Bournemouth. 11 minutes played, 1 0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Guided through by Ander Herrera. Martial in the clear. Well, that could be the game for Manchester United, should be the game. Well, you don't often see them let this kind of lead slip. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Manchester United really on top form in this first half. Manchester United. Number 11, James Tompkins. Anthony Martial. Andros Townsend. It's a very good interception. Now Lingard. And uh, Herrera. A chance to break away now on the counter. That's a missed opportunity on the counter-attack. That's right. Crafting the through pass. The keeper might be needed again, he didn't hang on to the ball. Corner kick coming up. And here's the replay again. I think he saw a little gap there on the left-hand side and he, and he found it with great power. Swung in from the corner. Keeper goes for the punch from the corner. Here's an opportunity, maybe. And shoots! Well, that's not even close. Here's Williams. 
Here's Danny Williams. He's got his shot off now. And they've scored by the crossbar. One team really on their game today. Oh, the other very off colour. Number 34, Danny Williams. Now Williams. No advantage here. The referee stopped it for offside. Associated Manchester United with a never say die spirit in terms of that 1999 Champions League. Good save. He's spotting it up now to take the corner. That's a fine shot, an even better save. The ball did move in the air a touch, so he had to keep his concentration. Well, the goalkeeper wouldn't want to be beaten from there, and he made sure he wasn't spectacularly. Well, he's a long way out, and sometimes they can catch keepers by surprise, but he was on his toes. Put the corner in the middle. It's wonderful work from the goalkeeper again from the header. Well, he was on his toes. He was very fit. Good stop. In goes the corner. Well, the play has broken down now. Good distance to the clearance then. Oh, his teammates will thank him for that. Guiding it through the defenders. Zaha. In towards the dangerous Benteke. Goalkeeper has to go and uh, get the ball for the goal kick. Well, what a good game he's having to this point, Alan. Well, you can see from the graphic how busy he's been around that 18-yard box. Really has kept the keeper busy and got some reward too. Pogba. Now Williams and uh, Herrera. Now this is an interesting attack. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. And here's the shot back out of the bar. And there it is for Manchester United. In the end, it was a tap in and the goalkeeper parried the ball into his path. Well, you can get 20 goals like that a season if you think that quickly in and around the box. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Andros Townsend. I'll try the back heel. And the fourth official has held up the board to say four more minutes. And he could get away here. And a goal! To get three, it's fantastic, Alan, for Danny Williams. Do you know what? From the very first minute, he looked a threat and he's taken those goals so well. Well, some players might switch off if they've scored a goal, even two goals in the game, but he's greedy for more, in the best way, I mean, and he's got a hat-trick. Yeah, he's been a danger from the start, his work rate, his, his runs off the ball, and been top class. Well, this is a truly outstanding start to the game, a fantastic first half. Benteke. Saw the ball, went for it. Well, the referee has brought to an end what has been a very surprising first half. But Danny Williams, well, he set some standards to try and live up to. Everything that fell his way, he took, and uh, he'll be after more. What a hat-trick.